Hey guys, welcome back to my fucking place. Let's jump in. Hammer hit. Let's hammer a hit against the enemy. Max corruption up on bosses and on the little fellows. Bam. Ready to hit that heart. So, what? There's like freaking seven different levels of heart as well. That heart was heaps hard. Let's. Oh, such hard decisions to make. I get it. Sometimes this gives you a good direction to go in, but sometimes it cripples you the whole run. Um, all right, we got the wave. Draw two additional dice. One agony to a random enemy. Creatures with agony have X doom applied to them at the end of their turn. And then doom increases how much they hit you. So they're going to hit you harder every turn. Alright, we'll do this one. So what does this do though? We gain two doom. And getting these straight away make it so difficult because you got no dice to help you out with that. And we got so many of these. But we'll give it a go. Wave it up. Surf. Surf to win. Here's our chance to get an amazing wave. So we're not doing shark onslaught. Shark is name. In power. In game one dies or just in power for a turn. There's only there's one skill that works really well with empower with the wave it's a nice easy one that just gives us dice plus empowerment we'll block all corruption might be needed in this run forge wave that's perfect even these guys will probably be good but i think we'll go with the forge wave let's start getting that i like these forge dices i do like them all right. Positive thoughts. We're not going to be corrupted. Look at this already. Five. Boom. Bam. He's going to do two to me and two to himself. We can get back two. So why not? One, two, three, four, five. We've got a, we haven't got a six here. Boom. This all needs to be done on me. I get a three. They go back up two. They go down four. None of these are working very well, are they? Um, we can go down three now. Then go up two. Yeah, okay. Go down three now. Then we heal ourselves up. Heal ourselves up. I don't know. We roll it. Just, I don't know. 3-3. Three, three. That's fine. He can do that. We don't even need that. We'll just play. I have to put a dice in. I didn't even realize that. And then we hit him. 3-3. Three, three. Alright. Oh, give me that wave. Thank you. Oh, a three wave. But now we've got nothing to hit it with. Let's do this. Let's re-roll this one. Um, just to try and get something to put corrupt to put the wave on. All right. So he's about to do six to me. Six to me. So I'm going to need a full health plus some armor potentially. Didn't need to do that on myself though. But we'll, we'll do we'll do the armor. Now look at surfing, hey? Whoa! Incorruptible. Just try me, mate. Oh, 
<laughs> Alright. Yowch. We can do a... Um, oh, there's that wave I want to do. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five. Then we'll try and re-roll the wave. But what are we going to put on it? Maybe this? That's the highest it goes. And that's going to be pretty dangerous. It's going to hit me for six. Oh, that's not good. All right. Oh, we just got him though, haven't we? All right, only one forge. Now what have we got? Reroll, hit ourselves in the face, and then astral cooling. Reroll to three dice, any target. Um, and draw a dice. Guess we go with this one at the moment. Deal three vacations to an enemy three times. This is really good. If we're going, is it? Wave? Only if we empower. So if we build the same build that we were doing last time. I wasn't getting any empower last time. But I'll take it. Maybe some balanced dice. We don't have a duplicate this time, but we can duplicate ourselves when we go there. So maybe we'll try and get a nice, a good dice. Like I was thinking you might, this one, if we put wave all over it, would be a good dice to duplicate there. Um, safe dice, balanced dice, or risky. Let's get a couple, let's get a couple of Balanced. Hit me with some wave. That looks like a wave. Three if you're to an enemy. If the enemy has at least six wave, refresh your virtues, then decrease wave by three. Sounds pretty good. Alright. Um do you want free cash to the target for each time you receive corruption during this battle? Decrease all dice from your hand with any type of corruption action to a value of one until the end of an enemy's turn. Ignore doom. Tonic Trace. Interesting one. Could definitely be good because we've got Doom. Um, but if we just try and get away from that, it might be okay. Not affected by Empower. What's this going to do? Five damage to everyone. Jeez. Skip this one. Alright. Spinning globe. Let's get it on. So we got a... Wave one. We don't have any. One, two, three. One, two. He's only doing one to me. At the end of its turn, apply one doom. Okay. Oh, I freaking did it on the wrong person. Alright, well, we'll do this for... For that. Bam. Can I use that ham uh, other thing on me? Check. Could have got an extra six purification. Oh no, nine. Minus the other one. Five would kill us, so we're going to be careful. We can go up by one. We put that on him. Go down by five. And then reroll this one and hope. Hope, hope, hope. Unfortunate, but we can roll it again. Let's get well, very unfortunate, but that's 
Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Four. He's only hitting me four. Is he going to gain anything? I'm just going to do this. But that's at the end of his turn. Alright. Oh, I should re I should have done with this, shouldn't I? Wow. Getting a little bit unlucky on the uh the rolls here. That's right. That's right. That's right. No forges done, unfortunately. There's that, this, there's that empower thing. Three and draw a card. Um. I'll skip it. So, do we... We forge, do that, destroy something, and then try and duplicate. This could just be a really good thing, though. But then we just go here. I guess we don't need to do forging because we do that later. All right. It's not going to matter if we do it then or up there. Blessing, nice. Uh, every three turns, apply two light shield to all targets. Whenever you or a sentinel deals corruption to an enemy, decrease all dice from your hand with any type of corruption action to a value of one until the end of the turn. Ignore doom. That seems pretty good. Deal two corruption to an enemy. Do we grab a little friend to come along with us? Then we can't do any forging, but I don't know. It might be better just to get someone. What do you got for me? Pick a dice, read bounded dice. That's probably the best. Duplicate dice can turn out bad. Right, let's get a little little friend to help us out. Bye. Now we've got a friend to help us defeat these clams. Um, hit one to everyone. Hit one to a random person. So he could die and two to himself. Go down by two, I guess. I don't know who to take out first. Let's go with this guy, shall we? We're just going to hope that he doesn't hit. This is a random target, so there's a lot of chance that it won't. But it could. But, we'll see. Um, I think this is fine as well. I guess there is a lot better ones. Oh, he's only hitting... Yeah, two... We also have to be careful of ourselves. So this is to an enemy only. Maybe we stop this guy from hurting himself. Okay. We definitely have to get some more wave going. Jeez, that guy got hit twice. Did they all go hidden? Or did he put hidden on everyone? Get to pick a dice. Okay. Well, definitely this one seems pretty damn good. 
Um, so we can go incorruptible. When do we go incorruptible? One, two, three, four. Let's go four first. Then we'll go incorruptible. And then we'll start doing stuff. Two wave. All right. See what happens. Two to self. Hopefully, no, that's doomed to self. Over corrupted. Four to me. All right. Little hidden. These dudes hiding away. All right. Not great. All right, rebound a dice. So we can take this guy out. This guy's the problem. We've got no shielding. Ten is actually a lot. No, we have to get eight. So we could go up one, go back three. So we go all the way up to here. And then go back down here and then go up by two. I don't even think that's safe enough. We're going to lose a heart here, guys. Alright, well, we'll go up by... Three. And then we'll hit him with that. One, two, three, four, five. What was I thinking? Oh, because I just wanted this to be up. Two, three, four... For me to get this guy, what am I going to do now? Six. I have to do everything. So we just accept the loss. Because this guy's going to hit me for like four. And how do we do this? Three. Up two. Down four. Okay, so three. Up two. Right there. Four to self. Okay, so that's good. One to me. Okay, maybe we do survive this. Now we go up by two. Hit him for three. I think everyone gets two. And then we'll start hitting this guy because he's going to get very, very dangerous. Not a problem. Look at this guy. Four. Alright, these are the two that we need to kind of... Because we need to kill them. Alright, we've got no... So this is the best we're going to get here. Which is not bad. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not enough to nine. Jesus, close. But I think we just buff ourselves up to the max. I guess it's only two extra shield, but it might it might be enough. Let's see if eight health is enough. Well, that's only one. That's six. We survive. These don't look great. All right. Um, this one's got no... Oh, I haven't converted any of them yet. A five and a four. All right, we'll convert one of these. Put three on that, dude. Needs to be six, doesn't it? Yeah. 
so one more hit on this guy and we all get healed up so this guy could do one to me then we'll hit this guy so do four to me but he'll heal me up a bit It's not going to make a difference whatever I see on him, so do that. But I believe we should be able to buy him with this. Alright. So we got 10 more. 1, 2, 3. Go down by four. All right, done. All right. Oh my gosh, none of these are what I want. That's un that's unfortunate. What is this? Double your empower if you have no empower. Gain one empower. Wow. But some of these guys stop you rolling dice and you just instantly die. Unforgeable. Oh, we've got to find our, our uh, empowered dice. Whenever an enemy with wave is defeated, all the wave is had to it had has passed to the enemy with the least corrupt. That is incredible. At the start of each battle, gain one in power for each, for each six risky die you have in your dice pool. Now, these two are what we want. But I think we go with the wave to start with. This is so powerful. Yes. All right. I didn't even know that existed. So maybe we'll go some riskiness. We haven't got much money. So we'll go for remove a dice. Um, we'll go for the one that's not... Wait, is this not until the end of... Yeah. Oh, so they're all going here instead of over here. So we get rid of some of these. And then safe dice. Fine. If we can get that one with the uh, seaweed on it. Okay. Okay. Just wave and wave. It's fine. We got some wave. Let's sacrifice a heart, gain a star blessing. So these are blessings, aren't they? So we could get the other one. Whenever you or a sentinel deals corruption to an enemy, you apply two wave to the enemy. Yeah, there you go. Gets overcorrupted, refresh of virtues. All right. So the, the wave build is getting trinkets. I like it. So we have to think that corrupting an enemy is a way to do stuff. All right. So he's doing three plus one to everyone. Three plus one to everyone. Uh, so we can hit ourselves with four, which is quite good actually. Because so then we can re-roll this one. What has he got? Three and one's fine. This is pretty bad. We can hit ourselves to full here, so maybe we re-roll this one. I'm going to get rid of a dice to do that. Well, damn. So, and does this give me purification? No. Oh, well, I guess I can do that. Because I am full up. Could I have done that dice? I don't think so. 
three Oof. and two Oof. Okay. okay that should be fine for him this could be bad oh jeez oh my gosh the worst possible. Should we grab this dice? Oh my goodness. Alright, how do we do this? Well, I can refresh all my stuff. Okay. So that could possibly do it. So we'll go back. We'll do this first. Hit him with that. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. We gotta hit, we gotta do this first. We'll do, we may as well do it on ourselves then. Virtue's back up. Reroll both of these. What the heck? Seriously. So we could hit him with four, five. So give him two wave. Or we go back five. One, two, three, four, five. Do this twice. We haven't done much to him. So doing that to him doesn't help us that much. Could try and reroll both of these, but bad stuff could happen. All right. What is he gonna do? Another five to me? Plus all this extra holy unmissed, or missed. Not looking great here. Um, incorruptible. Okay. All right, we'll just heal ourselves back up again, I guess. Do the wave, do the wave. And then we'll... Oh, I can't do this because I have to reroll the dice. Well, that wasn't great. Doing four to me. One, two, three, four. We haven't even got through his shield yet. We have done nine wave to him though, so that's something we could even get through his sh shield. Yes, empower two. Oh, here we go. Suddenly. Ooh. Oh, here we go. So we can go... Go forward two. Then go back four. But he's gonna hit for four. That's okay. All right, so go forward two. Oh, we got to, we got to do so much to ourselves to get to that point. Then we'd go back four, but then we couldn't go forwards. I didn't think it all through. I should have done that beforehand and not done this. So that's what I'm going to have to do. I could hit him. It's not anywhere near ready. For so silly again, I could have done another 14. I got stuck on getting rid of my shield. Okay. 
Oh, he's a pain in the ass. All right. We get to refresh all of our virtues. This, these dice are horrid. Could try and go incorruptible here. All right, I think that's a good option. Because then we can hit him hard. Would have loved to do a bit more forging. Oh my god, look at this. Get out of it, mate. Okay, the other guy's still alive. Doesn't even matter because he's gone. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What do we got here? Incorruptible and block a die. Choose one dice with non mandatory action from your hand to not be discarded at the end of turn if you do deal three purification to yourself. Okay. Probably that one for now. Yeah, we'll go with this one. Come along, clocked out. Oh, but he's always got so little uh, health. Now. <coughs> I think we're going to have to do this without Vendetta. I guess it's just adding another. No, the Vendetta increases the damage we do, but not. Oh, yeah, it should be okay, shouldn't it? we we'll just let them hit us. Could be bad. Just do full wave and then draw a card. It's not bad. Draw a die. Oh, where's the... Oh, they've got a little X on them. Okay, surf and wave. <laughs> By full wave to an enemy and draw one die. Be quite good with all the synergies we get going. We're not relying on Empower at the moment. Like, this is really good with Empower. But this should start buffing up things with Wave. Is this too dangerous? Whenever it receives corruption, apply X power and power to this creature. Increases corruption received by X as well. Bam, bam. Just punch, twin smash. I think we definitely Surf or Vendetta. So risky. And then this is going to be even more risky. Okay. Neutral, neutral, and neutral. Okay. Now, Death Bomb's fine. Draw additional die per turn. I want boost, three wound hex, death bomb. Definitely seems the, the least hurtful out of a lot of these ones. Just give the boss an extra dice for the rest of the game. Yeah, it's a good idea. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. White Falcon out.